What up, it's Josh, your boy IBS Kelso, coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Now, before you guys adjust your phone brightness or change your minor settings, yes, I am black. We're playing a dirt bike game. Now, today, I'm going to be giving you guys my outdoor uh, Kawasaki setup. Kind of, this is my new and improved, I should say, uh, Kawasaki setup. I do have one on the channel already when we first were messing with the OEMs, but I feel like I now have this thing way more dialed in. Um, I took what Morgan Widow Racing, shout out to Morgan uh, from Widow Racing, I took what he had and kind of just put in my own little finishing touches on it. So as the video kind of goes through, I'll just show you uh, and yeah, send you the setup. That way you guys don't got to stick around the whole time. But I think I'm just going to ride some practice here at Lombardia in the rain. I've never rode practice inside the rain. Shout out to Skizzy for literally just bringing up the idea. I was looking at a short and I saw him in the rain. So <laughs> I was like, yo, that looks pretty sick. I've never done it. So I thought, how hard could it be trying to ride in the rain? What's the environment looking like? And yeah, riding in the rain right now, it's a nice gloomy day here at Lombardia. It's completely a different, like, different view of how you see the see the track from being sunny to now. And it's pretty cool that you gotta use, actually use your tear-offs now of how, like, much rain is dropping. So, yeah, we'll drop down. Shout out to uh, my boy DC2J. Gotta love this ice white Kawasaki. I also did change the Kawasaki um, sound mod. I probably might change it again, only because I'm playing around and seeing which one I like the best. But I think right now it's like the Husqvarna slash uh, Husqvarna slash Gas Gas kind of sounds a little bit like the Yami as well. So yeah, I'm not I'm not too mad about it. I think I enjoy it a lot. Um, I just wanted to see if it would make me faster because I also heard shout out to my boy uh, can't think of his name right now. Oh Splash! Shout out to Splash. Yeah, he was telling me that he enjoyed using a different sound mod because he said some some sound mods just don't let you hear you know the rev limiter or like hear the bike when it needs to be switched up at times so some bikes have a better uh better sound mod than others so i thought i'd do it and so far kind of enjoying like knowing when the rev limiter is coming and going but yeah hopefully i gave you guys a setup so far kind of just cruising i've been enjoying this this bike a lot dude i really can't thank you guys enough for just all the support i think we're on the road to 3600 subs so yeah we're, we're pushing for that 4k slowly but surely and yeah, we'll just keep grinding man this, this is really cool i mean i feel like i'm not i feel like i'm slowing down i'm running a what 149 i think the best i've ran on here was a 146 maybe maybe i don't know maybe 146 but i'll say the rain is slowing me down maybe three seconds uh cool with me cool with me and um yeah we'll just keep bouncing around easy peasy I gotta say, I, I've, I've spent a lot of time on this track, and for it to be in a rainy environment, I feel like I'm moving and grooving, especially with the medium tires. And I feel like the gearing fluctuates for everybody. I'm running a 1350. I was running a 1250, realized I was losing a lot of speed, and that's why it's for more for Supercross. So I went back to 1350. I tried 1351, too much torque to the back wheel. So I think 1350, maybe 1349, depending on how you want your starts and late game, um, you can mess around with that. but. So far, bike's not doing bad. Bike is not doing bad. It's holding up in the rain. I guess uh, if I could show you that this bike is kind of killing it in the rain, you can just kill it on a regular track, dude. I love this bike, man. I can't, I can't let go of it, dude. Like I know I'm giving out these setups, and it's like, oh well, cool. Maybe give out like you know, switch to a different bike. Show us that another bike works. Oh man, that was that was totally on me. Show me like if a uh, a Kawasaki or KTM. I mean not a Kawasaki, KTM, Yamaha, but. In a day, man, I feel like I'm just not that great at this game to be switching bikes over and over. Like, I think I found my niche. I found what I think works best for me, and I need to continue practicing with it. So there's no point for me to uh, end up. And I think I would have dropped my time right there. I think I was a, like ahead of my ghost, but I messed up. Cooking, though. Look at that. That was all slide. No bark. Yeah, I like that. So, yeah, I mean, I, I want to give a different bike a chance, but... Why do that when nothing's broke? Don't fix nothing that ain't broke, you know? So we'll keep going. Until I run this thing into the, di into the dirt and or freaking uh, the mods team literally just throws this freaking Kawasaki back into the ground. Because before there's the OEM update, before the OEM update, this bike was not good at all. I said it was a hazard bike. I said I, I did not like it. I despised it. Um, but yeah, now this thing, I, it's my bread and butter. I can't get off of it. So <laughs> um, yeah. With that being said, maybe the new OEM date 2024. I hope not. Hopefully the 2024 Kawasaki will actually still be good. And um, yeah, not too many changes. Hopefully they keep keeping the, like keeping this bike up there, up to par. So, oh no, twice. Dang it, gosh darn it. I feel like I have it. I feel like I have the 148. I feel like I can get the 148 in the rain. 
It's not bad. This bike is freaking amazing. But super excited for uh, for Supercross. I guess I'll go back on that. Super excited for uh, Supercross right now because, uh, like Aiden said, I think I was talking to Aiden a little bit. And he said it's it's cool to see that you're actually taking it serious and wanting to progress. And I think that's the biggest thing. If you really want to put your mind to something, like literally show that you're doing the improvement. And I think right now I have been putting in that pr improvement a lot. Like I just I've been doing my own thing and really showing you guys with the Supercross videos. So I'm gonna keep cranking those out. I was gonna do Tampa. I mean, I, this year I was gonna do Oakland, but uh, yeah, it's kind of just been doing, you know thanksgiving stuff all day so happy thanksgiving to anybody out there that celebrates but yeah we'll save it for another day it's not like we can't get her done easy peasy there we go i think oakland's gonna be a very not necessarily struggle but i'm very excited to do that video because i want to show you guys my progress from what i'm like riding that track now to like the end of the video and i think it's gonna be a fun time oh yeah easy peasy thank you guys for so much for all the support through my streams my shorts my videos you guys just been obviously killing it, man. I can't thank you guys enough. I mean, hopefully this is enough proof as well that this bike just rips. I know I'm not the best rider and probably could be seeing way better talent right now. Could probably be going a little bit more crazy, but in you know, the days is what you get. This is what you pay for. You really didn't pay for it, but yeah. Also right here, I like taking this outside because I'm on a 250. I feel like I lose no time there because I feel like in the inside you have to slow down a little bit and or apex it correctly. But I think that's fun, literally railing that outside. So I'm going to stick with that. But I, I am in front of my ghost. So we'll see if we can keep that momentum. I don't even want to look back right now. Boom. Outside that perfectly. Yeah, I love this track. I, I usually play this track a lot on my daddies only because like it is a free MXGP track. And if you guys are trying to get better at like, you know, I think this is a huge track for me when uh, it came out and I was trying to feel like, how can I get better at rough? And JV has such great roughness, but for this to be free, dude, and to run it with the homies, man, I'm telling you, man, you cannot despise this track. Oh my goodness. And this bike just makes it look work like worth wonders, bro. Oh, you know, oh. So far, the rain's not a huge uh, problem. I, I have point twenty on E-Road. Round of one... 147.5 so i'll take that okay that was on me that was on me i was trying to do the same spin out i feel like the tires are pretty bad now but it's all right i ran a 147 that's not bad in the rain so i feel like i definitely could have a 146 if i pushed a little bit harder found a little niche easy peasy but yeah i, I definitely recommend guys out there pick up this track it is free mx bike shop and yeah man just work on your jv roughness dude and 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 for instance, uh, what was the motocross? What's his name? I can't think of him right now. Man, I'm having a brain fart. Oh, well, you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that guy, that guy's that guy. And his, his tracks got better as the OEM update got came. Like, I think before the OEM update, his tracks were not giving you um, enough clout or enough enough OEM clout. Like, the bikes weren't able to handle the roughness on those on those tracks. But these new OEMs, I would say definite. TFC, there we go. TFC. Oh man, not the front tucky. Gosh darn it. I think I ran out of tear offs. I did. Dang, that, I think that's the only sucky part. You only get so many tear offs. I think you only get so many tear offs. I think it's like, what, 20? 22 or something like that? You only get like 22 tear offs, so you gotta use them wisely. I think I've just been tearing off every time I seen rain. So I think that would be a really cool thing just to practice rain, just in case, you know. That'd be really cool to do a rain, I guess a rain aspect kind of server racing daddy. Like every every track is in the rain, kind of like worser conditions. See if we can ride and see see who's been riding all just sunny and, and cloudy to uh, <laughs> literally get into the worst conditions. I think that'd be really cool. But yeah, I mean, I guess I got nothing else for you guys, man. I appreciate you guys so much for the support. You guys been rocking and rolling. I know this setup video went to like 10 minutes but hey hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully i showed you proof here even riding in the rain that this bike actually does wonders so yeah other than that i ran a 147 in the rain i'll take it thank you guys so much for the support too as well so it's your boy ibs kelso and i'll catch you guys in the absolute next one pop 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 pop